Amber Meyer. You and your husband, Tom, um, own Ugly Yellow House. You guys have an awesome business creating bow ties for fashionable humans and very dapper dogs. So how did this start? Tom and I always wanted to own our own business. And I had a friend um, from college who was getting married and she wanted to wear a bow tie for her wedding. And so she asked if I would make it. And one of the things that we found is that there's not a lot of bespoke bow ties, especially in Seattle. We just started researching and broke into the to the bow tie game. I was trying to figure out what we would do with this remaining fabric. It was just sort of this natural um, move into dog bow ties because there's nothing really much cuter than a dog bow tie. It just sort of spun out from there. I, I just think it's so charming. So if I had to pick a word for it, I would say it's sophisticated humor. Handmade, it is high quality, and it's at a really affordable price point. Your, your, your bow tie connoisseur could wear or your novice would want to wear. So I think that's kind of the fun part of it. I think you guys are, are bringing the bow tie back to the forefront. Uh, who are your customers? I would say everyone from human to canine to feline. What is it about seeing a, a dog or a cat uh, in a bow tie that is just so hilarious? <laughs> yeah, I think it's because you just can't help but smile. And then we try to match what we're doing um, for humans with our pet. I, I was hoping you could show us some of your faves for, for humans and, yeah. and also pets. We have some of our classic uh, floral prints. We have your classic Seattle bath buffalo plaid. <laughs> um, a good fall gingham. Oh, um, I love it. The matching dog bow tie. <laughs> so cute, oh my gosh. We follow the trends of fall, but we have a little bit of whimsy, um, especially on the dog bow ties. So we've got the fun Halloween one, this amazing like sort of 70s print that's gonna follow it, the owls. You guys also do a lot of other things, including face masks. When you look at something like this pandemic, um, you don't know what to do. You don't know how to help, um, but you know that you just can't sit back. We wanted to start just giving away masks to everyone and anyone who needed them. Our frontline workers, our essential workers, our business owners, our restaurants, everyone who was doing their very best to take care of us, we wanted to take care of them. It was amazing the amount of, of people um, who were willing to help, but who also needed help. How many masks do you estimate you guys donated? Just over 400. And once the shortage was done, we knew that it would be okay for us to, to venture into um, selling these. Your masks are very fashionable. I think this is one of my favorite little golden girls. We oh have my gosh. <laughs> Tom is a, a big jean dork. And so he put one <laughs> together um, out of this amazing um, upcycled chambray. It's beautiful. Thank you. And you know, but, my favorite is the fringe. For it. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Yeah, it, it, like, it brings so much to any outfit. <laughs> it does. It does. And then, you know, so that goes around the head and rests on the head. We have a toggle. That way you can tighten it. And I think, honestly, the best part is the hands free of it. Yeah, show me the lace one. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. You know what else I love about these, Amber, is that everybody looks good <laughs> in the mask, right? Absolutely. It's awesome. The name of your company, Ugly Yellow House, right? Yes. You're in West Seattle. There's got to be a story behind the name of Ugly Yellow House. We moved up and fell in love with West Seattle. Um, we're able to find a house and it's an ugly yellow. Um, and we make everything in our ugly yellow house. So what do you love about what you're doing there? When we can make someone feel happy or confident um, in whatever decision of, they've made of um, our products to wear, it feels really good.